One of the things I've said for quite a while now, at least for the last couple of years, is just really just get away from society as a whole. The whole thing's going to, for the most part, especially in the West, is going to like enslave and kill most people. And if I would have said that more than three years ago, people, a lot of people would say it's crazy. But you can see they're already doing it with the genocide. Like they're doing a genocide right now. Hardly anyone seems to notice. It's amazing. It's incredible. But I've been saying, really, you just have to like get away from everything to do with society until this is all over. And it'll probably end with most people dead or enslaved. And you just have to stay away from it as much as possible is the main thing. Like they control most of the stuff that we consider to be like a normal part of the world. Anything to do with anything economic, financial, monetary, except for cryptocurrencies. Uh, governments, they control most of it. And so the only way to really stay out of this is to like let go of everything. And that's even what Max Egan's talked a lot about, right? Get rid of your, never have a smartphone, never use credit cards, don't use anything from their system. Because the more you do that, the more you get enslaved into it. And soon when they have the CBDCs and the digital IDs, which we're gonna talk about in this video, if you get trapped into that system, you're gonna have a very hard time ever getting out of it. And uh, so really the best way is just to get away from it all right now, as much as possible. It was very interesting to be in Narcapoco. You had about half the people who are more kind of like crypto kind of people, people like Rafael Liberti. And they're all like excited about the future of the digital world and how we can get rid of all these things and all these governments and, and central banks through using digital stuff. And they've got a lot of really good points. And just like with anything, just like with the internet, right? You could say, a lot of people will say, well, the internet that was started by the government the TCP IP protocol, I believe, was kind of started at CERN. It was basically like a military sort of a thing. And you could, you could say that was kind of set up, you know, World Wide Web to catch people like us uh, to, in, you know, enslave us. And, and in, in many ways it has. If you look at the digital world, you look at people on their phones today, they're, they're basically enslaved to their phones. Everything they're doing is tracked. And you could say, you know, the internet was sort of like that sort of a thing. But at the same time, without the internet, hardly anyone would ever have heard of David Icke, Alex Jones, Max Egan, or even Lucy. Yeah, probably no one even know about me without the internet, really. We keep to ourselves pretty much. But I guess you put these on the internet and, and then I guess some people know about it. It seems wherever I go, people want to give me tacos and, you know, I give them kisses so it all works out. So just like with the internet, we, we've kind of used it to our benefit. But it's a very fine line too. And so it's going to be incredibly interesting the next few years to see what all happens and how this all plays out.